Okay. Yeah, no, we're, <laughs> we're buying stuff. So remember, Doug, yeah, Vesna here, uh, Doug, uh, this is a pond yes. Yes. device? Yeah. Right now. So this is our SF4X housing. Um, it's a very popular housing for us. It's uh, an e-pond, DPOE housing. Uh, we have quite a lot of these deployed uh, in the U.S. and in Canada. And down here is normally a 10 gig e-pond module. What we're showing here for the first time is a 50 gig, 10 gig pond module. Okay. And this is... And that's coming in through these SFPs here? Yeah. So this is a drop-in replacement for our existing 10 gig EPON. Uh, but this runs 50 gig uh, XGS and 10 gig EPON in the same module on the same uh, optical uh, SFPs. Okay. So for the cable operator that's looking at the, now is this just for cable operators and telecom operators as well? Yeah, it, it could definitely be for both. EPON tends to be more popular in the cable space, um, but with the addition of XJS capabilities in this uh, chassis as well, uh, definitely uh, you know we could see it uh, being adopted in the, in the telecom area as well. Typically, how many subscribers would this device support? Um, <laughs> that varies depending on how the pond plant is uh, designed. So pond, you can do 32, 64, 128 per port. Uh, we have four ports on here, um, so that's so be four times that. Yeah, that's kind of the range. Yeah, really. This is a, a nice device. Um, it has does it have backup, redundant power supplies, redundancy throughout. Yes, it has redundant power supplies, and it has uh, power holdover, or power smoothing as well. Uh, like for the other this chassis yeah. as well. Yeah. Great. Very nice. Very cool. Very nice units. Thank you, Doug.